Hello, this is Brad, and I am with Mid-Continent Public Library. Welcome to our scanning app series, where we look at free mobile apps that can be used to scan documents using a smartphone. You don't need a copier or a scanner, just the smartphone that you likely have nearby or are using to watch this video. This can be handy when you need a digital version of a physical document. Maybe you had to sign a document, but now you need a digital version to email or to text or to upload somewhere. In most cases, taking a scan with a smartphone is as simple as taking a picture. All of the apps we will look at in our series are free. Today, we are specifically looking at the Microsoft Lens app. This is an app that is available on both Apple and Android smartphones and tablets. And a nice feature of the Microsoft Lens app is you do not need an account to use the app. I don't need a Google account or a Microsoft Facebook account or any other account. I can just download the app and take a quick scan. I can crop and filter my scan to make it look the way I need it. And the Lens app also has some neat text extraction tools that I can use, and also some translation features and a read text aloud feature. It's a simple app to use, so let's go ahead and get started. I will be demonstrating on an Apple device today. I'm going to begin by opening up my App Store and doing a search for Lens or Microsoft Lens. I just want to make sure that I select the app that says Microsoft Lens. I will tap Get to download this. It is a free app, so I don't need to pay anything for it. I might have to put in my Apple password, though. And once the app has downloaded, I can select Open to open the app. And we will see that I am not required to create an account of any kind to use this app, which can be nice and save some time. Okay, so there is an option down here to send data to help Microsoft improve this app. I will leave that option up to you. But we do, however, need to allow access to our camera. That is what we will be taking these scans through. So I do need to select Allow Access. I will leave this up to you as well, whether or not you want the app to be able to locate local networks. It's not necessary for using the scanning feature. It could be beneficial to allow access to your photos because you can edit those inside of the Lens app. I will show you that later on. And we definitely need to allow access to our camera because that is how we are going to scan these documents. So let's go ahead and get my document lined up. I know my page is in landscape orientation. That doesn't really matter. The app sometimes will correct it, and if it doesn't, I can rotate it after I've taken the scan. And when I'm ready, I will select the camera button. My document is a little blurry, and so I might want to retake this. I will select cancel to do that. And so I want to make sure my document is positioned correctly and the text is legible. And when I'm ready, I will select the camera button. This one turned out a bit better. I want to keep it, so I will select Confirm. And now I will be shown all the ways that I can modify my text over here on the right-hand side. But before I do that, I have an additional page that I need to add. So I am going to select the Add button right here. I have a second page of my document, so I am going to flip this over get it positioned, and then select my camera button. I like how this looks, so I am going to select Confirm. And I could scan any additional pages if I had them. Once I am done, I will select this icon over here with an arrow and the small number. That number lets me know the number of pages I have already scanned. I only have two today. And so now I have my second page here. And if I swipe over, I can see my first page. I am now going to begin editing by selecting the Crop button. 
This allows me to crop the edges of my document so that all I see is the page and none of the surface on which I took the scan. So I can click the corners to drag and adjust that. And I can also crop an entire side of the document by selecting one of these longer buttons on the side. When I am done, I will select Confirm. And this is just my first page that I cropped. I need to swipe over and select the cropping button again to crop my second page. And so I have my second page selected. I can crop it in the same way. And when I am done, I will select Confirm. All right, so I have cropped my document. Another way I can modify this scan is by selecting the Rotate button. Now the app did a good job and corrected my document even though I took it in landscape. If it had not done that, I can use the Rotate button to put this document in the orientation that I want it. And this rotating is only going to be for this page. I would need to manually rotate page two if I wanted to. I can also reorder my document. If I select this option over here, I can change the order of these pages. Maybe I want this shorter page to be the first one. I just click and drag it ahead of that. And then if I select Done, I will see my pages have been reordered. So now this is my first page, and the longer page with my signature is the second. I actually want these in the original way, but this just shows you that you don't have to take the pages in the correct order. We can reorder them later on. There are also filters that I can apply to my document. This list shows me all the different filters I can apply to my document to make it look the way that I need it. There are all sorts of options for different kinds of documents you might be scanning. And if I tap Apply to All Images, it will apply the selected filter to all the pages of my document. Selecting this arrow will close this. And I can then see the filter applied to both page one and page two of my scanned document. Another way I can modify my document is by using the ink button over here. I have colors over here that I can select, and then I can use that to mark up my document. And if I make a markup that I decide I don't want, I can use the undo button on the left hand side and it will remove that mark. When I am done, I will select confirm. And there it will save those markups I've made to my document. Similarly, I have a text option over here. This allows me to insert text on my document. Just like with the ink pen, I have different color options over on the right hand side. And maybe I need to include a message on my document. And I could put that here on my document. I have other options under the text option as well. I can see that that is the strong setting, but if I tap this option right here, I can see there is a regular setting. This just has regular text with no outline or background color. And then there's also a highlight option. And finally, a watermark option. You might see this on different copies of documents. So I could create my own watermark if I wanted to. And I can change the size of this text by using my fingers to click and drag. And I could create a watermark like this. And if I don't want this text, I can click and drag it to this trash can icon. And if there is a specific page of this scan that I want to delete, I can always select the delete trash can icon from the right hand side. Once I have modified the document in all the ways that I want to, I can select Done to save it. From this screen, I can rename my document. All I need to do is tap this auto-generated title right here, and I can name this document whatever I need it to be. And then I have multiple options for saving this. The first that I am going to show you is by selecting PDF, this is a very common document type, so I will show you that first. 
and then I will select phone storage from this menu option. And I will then see where this is saved on my Microsoft Lens app. If I tap these three dots in the bottom right corner, I see an option to share. It will open up different apps I have on my device that I can use to share. For instance, maybe I want to text this as a PDF to someone. I could select messages. It will attach this as a PDF. I could also mail it as well. And again, it will attach it as a PDF. If I select these three dots, I do have some other options. I could rename the document from here, or I could edit it. And so I have all those options again that I can use to edit my document. However, this time it is going to make a copy of that document. So I will now have two documents in here. Selecting that three dot menu, I also see an option to delete a document. Once this document is saved as a PDF, it will remain a PDF. I cannot change it into a different file type. However, if I was editing my document for the first time, I selected Done, and then I was on this menu, I could, instead of selecting PDF, select Photo. Some people prefer to send a photo file. And now I see my photo version of my document. And selecting these three dots, I should see an option to share. And I could then send it through either of those apps. And I can tell that instead of a PDF, this is now a JPEG file type. If I select this camera icon, I have different options for capturing my image. Besides a document, I, there is a special business card option. There's also an option to capture a whiteboard or a photo as well. And also available from the screen, we see the actions option. And that is where we see some of these neat text extraction and document read aloud features. So if I tap on actions, it will bring up the text extractor feature. And so all I have to do is take a picture of a document and it will allow me to extract the text from my photo. I position my document just like before. I tap the camera button and if it looks good and legible, I will select confirm and it will begin extracting the text from this page. And once it is done, it will pop up a window and give me the option to copy the text that it pulled from here. Now this might not be perfect. I can tell right away that it did repeat this line multiple times, but that's okay. I could select copy to copy all of this text, and then I could open another app like my text messages or my email or the notes app, and I could then paste and modify that text as I need to. I'm going to go back to my camera options and show you another neat feature of the Lens app. Now that I have actions selected, I can tap these four dots and see other options. I have text selected right now, but if I select read, the app will read me the contents of whatever I scan. So I simply position my document, select my camera icon. If the text looks good, I will confirm. It will begin extracting the data from this document. And once it has finished, it will pull up this text reading screen and I can select play to hear this text. Scanning app sample document. Scanning apps are a great way to capture a signed document without using a scanner or fax machine. Just from taking a picture, I can have this app read me the content of the document. I have some options as far as speed and voice selection from this menu. And up here, if I tap this book icon, I can see my translate feature. And from here, I could choose a language, maybe Spanish. And if I move this radio button for document, it will translate the document into Spanish for me. And then I can select the play button to have it read to me in Spanish. Usar un escáner o una máquina de fax. So even if I have a document in another language, I can use this to take a picture of it. It will extract the text 
and read it aloud to me and translate to me. Back on my camera screen here, I can tap this photo icon right here, and this will show me all the photos on my device if I have allowed the app access to that. And from here, I could bring in any of the photos on my device and edit them using any of the features of the Lens app. So I can use this to modify a photo that I have previously taken, or I can take a brand new photo for this as well. And so that is how we can use the Microsoft Lens app to take a quick scan, do some modifications, and then send the scan wherever I need it. I also have the handy translation feature and text extraction features available on this app as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our MCPLMO YouTube channel to watch all of our videos anytime. This has been Brad. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.